welcome to learn new technology so now we are going to see how we can read the text from the web element we have launched visual studio application ide for our, our script so let's make the method as get text as we are going to get the text from the web element so this is iweb driver its interface so we have created the object for that with the class of new chrome driver class chrome driver is one of the class so here we need to point the path where we kept our chrome driver so i have kept my driver in d drive that is why i have given like this then object that we have created driver dot navigate it's a method then dot go to url so now the method so here we will pass the url as a parameter so we are we are going to launch a browser with the google web page so we have given the value as google.com so once the browser is launched it will navigate to google.com page then we need to get the text from the web element for that we will use high web element it's one of the class for the web elements so creating the object as the element then object which we have create a driver dot find element then by dot so these are the locators uh, so we can replace it id then here we need to give the locator value so here we need to get the web element value gmail so this is the locator uh, so recommended locator is xpath so let's take this xpath so this is the locator for the gmail element then here we need to change the id from id to xpath let's make it then we need to print the value for that we are declaring the variable as string then the web element object dot text then we need to print it for that we require console dot write line so here we need to for observe very clearly So how we are going to print the value plus you need to add fix as well as suffix of the string variable then within quote you need to add one dot then it will reflect then it will print the text value so let's save it and compile it then we will run the code for that we will open test explorer view test explorer then run all click on so the browser is launched and uh, you are also it's launched now so uh, it successfully completed the process so let's see the text from the web element whether it's printed or not let's go to the last method so here we need to click on open additional so the gmail is printed so this is what we can get the text from the web element in c sharp selenium so this is our code you can refer it so it's a very pretty simple